We'll turn now to that top secret torture report set for release this morning. It will detail the CIA's harsh interrogation techniques after 9 11. And fearing a backlash, American military bases and embassies around the world are on high alert right now. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Rat is tracking it all. Good morning, Martha. You have some new information about this report. Uh, yes, good morning, George. It is the very graphic descriptions of the so-called enhanced interrogations that will stand out in this report. And one section in particular that a person familiar with it says goes beyond even waterboarding, that interrogation method that simulates drowning. This section, they say, will describe methods that are sexually demeaning. But at the heart of this release today is the conclusion from majority Democrats on the Senate Intelligence Committee that the interrogations did not not make the country safer and that the CIA misled the Bush administration about the program, George. And as you know, Martha, a number of former CIA directors set to rebut that report, and we've already seen former Vice President Dick Cheney come out. Indeed, as to those allegations that the program was some sort of rogue operation, Vice President Cheney told the New York Times. I think that's all a bunch of hooey. The program was authorized. And to charges that the president, President Bush was misled by the CIA, he says that is a crock. But George U.S. officials remain very concerned about the reaction to this report around the world. Yeah, this is a highly charged issue. Okay, Martha, thanks very much.